Hey guys, so I was sitting here scrolling through my phone trying to think of video ideas to film because I have this amazing makeup look on <laughs> and it's actually Black Friday and I thought it would be kind of fun because who knows how long it's going to take me to get some of these packages. I was going to do a what I bought during Black Friday video just for fun, just for shits and giggles. I was going to do like a sale video like what's on sale but everyone's doing that and honestly if you have a cell phone these days like it's like really not hard to keep up with new makeup releases and like the sales and stuff so I tr I wanted to show you guys one of the things I bought which I already got in like a pre Black Friday situation um, which is this guy I showed it on my Instagram this is the Marc Jacobs the bronze brush the Marc Jacobs website was 40% off makeup brushes like the beginning of this week and I've always wanted this brush I recently took it off my Sephora loves list because I was like, you know what? I really don't want to pay 75 to $80 for a makeup brush So I'm glad I got it on sale. So that was my one of my first scores for Black Friday, so I'm actually just gonna go into my emails and tell you guys what I got <laughs> Which you know if you don't like it, it's fine I can't believe the amount of emails I'm getting. I've been deleting emails like all day because it's like insane. And I've also been unsubscribing to some of these emails because one of my goals definitely in December and January is to hopefully just buy like zero makeup because we're going to France, me and my husband. If you guys didn't know, we're going to France. We booked this big trip. It's like our, you know, honeymoon we never had slash my 30th birthday trip. And so I really want to save up some money to make some exciting purchases in France. So anyway, let's see here. Okay, this one, I'm going to blame this on Annette. You know who you are. Um, she was asking on her Instagram, she's like, oh, um, what's a good Z palette? And then we got to talking and then she was like, yeah, I'm getting the 65, um, sorry, the 66.5 North collection from Clean Out. And I was like, I didn't know, like in my brain, I didn't say it to her. I was like, oh, I didn't know they were coming out like with a new collection. I just used their Arkeo palette. That video is, should be up. I will link it if it's not. And I was like, oh, like what's that? So I went and looked on their Instagram and I'm gonna throw up a picture, obviously, because I don't have these items yet. And they have the most beautiful colors and they also had swatches on dark deep dark skin tone obviously I know I'm not like ebony black but those swatches the shades look so beautiful on this person's arm and I was like ooh I need that and then I went on their website and then they had the harvest moon eyeshadow bundle which also looked gorgeous so I paid like a lot of money for that like two eyeshadow bundles the 66.5 collection is like 125 Canadian dollars so yeah that was a bad idea, but I did it. I was just like, you know, whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to buy anything in December. Oh, my God. I'm, so, I'm like, I'm an enabler. I'm telling you guys. Okay, so here is a fun house thing, which, like, me and my, like, I tried to convince my husband um, to buy one on Target because there's one on sale on Target. Um, and I bought a Dyson. I bought the Dyson V7 Animal Cord Free Vacuum. Let me tell you a story about my house. I don't have a very big house. It is a like a two by level. I don't even know. It's a twin home, okay? And we have one bedroom upstairs and we have two bedrooms downstairs. And we have a Roomba upstairs. I've got a Dyson. I don't know what kind of Dyson. I'll throw up a picture here. My husband got it before we were married. It's an amazing vacuum. It's humongous and it's heavy. And I like to use it when I'm like really vacuuming. Um, we also have like a little Swiffer vacuum, which was like 40 bucks. Um, we have a handheld Dyson, um, but it's like the small one. I'll throw up a picture here. And I like to use this one in particular on the stairs because we have five pets. We've got two dogs, three cats. The dog, one of the dogs sheds like crazy. The two cats, one of the, two of the three cats shed like crazy. So there's a lot of fur on our stairs. So that one we bought specifically to use on the stairs and it's great at getting in like nooks and crannies and it's great for like if we spill granules or something or you're picking up like little pebbles that come into the house because it's like so cold here all the time people walk in with like boots and stuff so I like it for that but I wanted the 
animal cord free vacuum because we have one at work and it's so handy and I'm like real like every time I want to vacuum because downstairs we have all carpet I'm like every time I want to vacuum I have to like whip out the big vacuum and then I have to like plug it in and the pets are always scared of it so I uh, yeah I convinced him that we needed we needed a, a vacuum and another one so now we're up to four vacuums in a house of two human beings which is really funny but you know what I like spend so much time thinking about that purchase and I'm like Karen this is so ridiculous it you're trying to buy yourself a cleaning utensil to clean your house like this should not be a debate because I like literally hate cleaning so much I really wanted to buy the dose of color snow angel palette but I'm not going to uh, what else did I buy? Okay, I did shop at Target. My mom is coming to stay here in Fargo when we're in France and it's gonna be cold. She doesn't really own like winter clothes, so she told me to buy her some boots and stuff and I there was a good sale on boots, so I bought her some boots from Target. I bought myself a pair because you can never have too many pairs of boots. Um, and then I bought like these moccasin slash boots in like a blush shade for myself and then the black for my mom because they're just easy to like throw on. I can wear them to work and stuff like that. So that's why I did that. Then I did shop at Dominique Cosmetics. They were doing free shipping. I have been waiting for the berries and cream palette to come on Sephora.com. I'm sure it'll be on there like tomorrow. It's already on. The palette's already on the website. You just can't buy it, which is super irritating. So since she was doing free shipping, I was like, okay, I don't mind free shipping. And then they threw in a free lemonade lip gloss in the shade Peach Tea. So I was like, sure. And I've been kind of eyeing that palette. So I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to compare it to the Latte palette because I feel like they're so freaking similar, which I'm confused about. I also placed a small order from Forever 21. Again, this, I, so I have a love-hate relationship with Forever 21, but they were doing 30% off. And honestly, other than Target, um, I love to buy jewelry from Forever 21 because sometimes they have really, I'm having so much fun playing with this hoop earring right now. Um, they have a lot of really cute jewelry for very cheap on Forever 21. And I mean, I don't buy like real jewelry, obviously. I just like buying costume jewelry. So usually when I buy from them, I'm always like looking for a decent deal. And there's like a cute sweater and stuff. And we have a Forever 21 store at the mall here. And what I do is I'll just order online and if it doesn't end up like fitting me the way I want it to, I'll just return it. Um, so I like that. But you have to be careful with Forever 21 because you can't return some online purchases in store and then they don't pay for your returns. So you have to pay out of pocket, which I think is very annoying. I did buy a uh, winter jacket. This was just kind of on a whim. I don't know, I've never owned a jacket like this, but it's basically like a glorified sleeping bag. It almost goes to the ground. And it's like a $400 jacket, it was on sale for $159. So I bought it, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I've never tried one of these on. I have a Michael Kors jacket that goes up to right above my knee, which is pretty warm. So I thought, hey, I might as well try it out and see. Plus, you know, Macy's is so great. If you don't like it, you can always return, which is awesome. And then I really wanted the Target Instapot. And I don't know why I didn't order it on Target.com. I don't know why I didn't order on Target, but I ended up ordering it at Macy's because every store is like price matching each other. So I got an Instapot. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But if you guys have any Instapot recipes, can you leave them down below for me? Because... I would really be interested in that and yeah I'm excited for our Instapod because I've heard they're really amazing so yeah that'll be cool. This is the only sale I was like actually like really waiting for. It was Gimme Glow Cosmetics. They had some good deals on single eyeshadows. I actually managed to like restrain myself and I got four of their single eyeshadows and then their Money Moves Quad. I'll throw up pictures of what the heck I'm talking about. They didn't do free shipping, which was super annoying, but yeah, I placed an order there. I did buy myself a little cardigan from Old Navy. My friend wanted to buy some jeans because I had just just gotten a huge order from Old Navy, and uh, I got the same jeans, and then she was like, do you want to order anything else? And honestly, Old Navy is like my new jam. Their stuff is so affordable and it's just so great for me because I don't have like a fancy office job so I can just wear like jeans and tees to work and 
I don't want to spend too much money on my workwear because I'm not like doing anything glamorous. So I can basically just wear casual clothes and if it gets ruined or dirty, like I'm glad that I don't spend a ton of money on clothes, which is great. So I've been really enjoying Old Navy for that. And then I think that was it. There's so many good sales, you guys. It's insane. Sephora's got like all the stuff discounted. Alta, Certify, Blush Tribe, um, Suva Beauty, um, Looks of Beauty's got Cyber Monday. Sydney Grace has that new rain, autumn rain palette. I want to support them so bad and buy that palette, but the palette's like 52 bucks, and then it's like $4.99 shipping. You're almost at $60 by the end of it, and I was looking at the shades. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to buy it. And I'm like, Karen, but $60, bucks, and you know you're not going to use this palette. Like, I just, I feel like I'm not going to use the palette, and I have so many singles from Sydney Grace already, so I'm happy to just, like, stay away from that one, which I, I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it, but right now I just don't care. Oh, and then I bought the freaking Melt palette. That was embarrassing. That should be here soon. Um, I don't know why. And then, like, as soon as I bought it, I told, like, um, uh, Vanessa from Hot Mess Nest, and she's like, girl, we have those shades. Like, what's wrong with you? She even sent me, like, swatches. I also told Amy Loves Makeup. And yeah, everyone was laughing at me and I was pissed at myself because I was like, Karen, you're such an idiot. So I did that. But I'm kind of excited too because like I'm excited for the greens, you know? And what else did I buy? Oh, I bought the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. I'm so excited for the Zodiac palette. I think it's going to be beautiful. BH Cosmetics in 2018 is one of those brands that like really surprised me in a good way. I tried, I on a whim, I bought the It's My Rare Rare palette and I bought the, uh, the Zodiac palette. I bought those together and the mattes just wowed me. I do like their bake formula. I picked up the Aurora Lights palette. I did end up actually selling that one because I never used it. I've been doing like my eyeshadow palette collection for you guys and I did a video called my untouched eyeshadow palettes and after I did that video I was like I'm never going to get to this Aurora Lights palette. I felt pretty ridiculous that I was holding on to this palette so I've been doing little declutters here and there. I feel like I have other little like mini palette collection video ideas, but I kind of just want to sit and film like my entire palette collection video. So that'll, I think that'll happen soon. And I want to do a makeup collection video. I keep telling you guys that I want this room to be in better shape because I feel like it's very cluttered. But I, then I'm also like, I have days where I'm like, you know what? People don't care. Like it is what it is. They want to see the real thing. So Hopefully, I'll be able to do a full makeup collection and a full action of palette collection and, yeah, do some fun stuff. But I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving and, yeah, I'm just really enjoying having a few extra days off. That doesn't happen to me very often. But, yeah, you guys take care. Thank you so much for watching this Blabby video and I will see you soon. Bye!